The followers of Muhammad tell the world that Islam is a religion and that the Quran is Allah's final revelations to humanity. As you know, I have read and studied the Quran exhaustively and have not found a single new practical, spiritual and intellectual precept, concept, thought or idea beyond the hate-mongering, war-mongering, terroristic and hellish verses that fill the chapters of the Quran. Will you please tell us the facts? Although we sometimes repeat the same themes, sentences and conclusions in our series, this is absolutely necessary to counter the innumerable cases of identical and or similar verses or statements that are replicated in the Quran and by the followers of Muhammad. Repetition, after all, creates memory retention. First and foremost, Muhammadan Islam is a cult and not a religion. It is the cult of Muhammad since his male followers have absolutely no choice but to emulate him perfectly according to his sunnah. Secondly, the concept of the belief in the one and only God preceded Muhammad and his Quran by at least 2,500 years by the examples of the Hebrew Abraham and his Israelite descendants. The concept of Islam, submission to the will of one God, was not Muhammad's idea or invention. He simply stole it like he did with everything else in his lifetime. Thirdly, you are perfectly correct about the contents of the Quran since all the traditions, fetishes and rules contained therein were plagiarized, plundered, pirated and or perverted from the traditions, fetishes and scriptures of the pagan Arabs, the Christians, the Jews, the Sabaeans and the Zoroastrians. Now let us share the following with our audience. All the Muhammadan Muslim traditions such as Salat, prayer, Hajj, pilgrimage, Saum, fasting, Zakat, charity, Shahada, witness, pre-existed among the pagan Arabs as well as among the Judaized and Christian Arab tribes centuries before Muhammad and his Quran. 2. During the Hajj to Mecca, circumambulating the Kaaba, wearing the white seamless tunic, the shaving of the hair, the kissing of the black stone, the running between the two mountains of Safa and Marwa, the throwing of the stones at Jamra Satan, the sacrificing of animals, etc., etc., were pagan rituals that Muhammad very conveniently subsumed and wrapped them up with the new mantle of his version of Islam. 3. The prohibitions in the Qur'an regarding marriage, divorce and inheritance pre-existed Muhammad and his Qur'an among the pagan Arabs and the Judaized and Christian Arabs. 4. The concepts of Jannah, paradise, the Garden of Eden, Malaika, angels, Shaitan, Satan, Jahannam, hell, etc. were plagiarized from the Bible of the Jews and the Christians since these did not exist in the simple religion of the pagan Arabians either as concepts or in their language. 5. Every single biblical name in the Quran was not known to the pagan Arabs but were stolen from the Syriac language of the Arabian Christian Bible. 6. The ideas about the Huris, celestial virgins, and the opulence of paradise were plundered from the Persian Zoroastrians. 7. Almost every story in the Quran regarding biblical characters such as Adam, Abraham, Moses, Pharaoh, Ishmael, Isaac, Jacob, Jesus, Mary, etc., were actually from the non-canonical stories in the Midrash of the Jews and the Apocrypha of the Christians that Muhammad heard and incorporated with errors in his Quran. 8. Other stories were copied from the Greek, Latin or Persian ones. 9. The words Masjid, Mosque, Kaaba, Allah, Jinn, etc. were pagan Arabian long before Muhammad and his Quran. 10. Almost all of the most important religious terms in the Qur'an, numbering about 118, without which the Qur'an cannot exist, were plagiarized, plundered, pirated, and or perverted from Aramaic, Greek, Hebrew, Ethiopic, Indian, Syriac, and Persian languages as agreed upon by the Muhammadan exegetes themselves, especially al Suyuti. Words such as Ahbar, meaning Jewish doctors at law, Istabrak, Persian silk brocade, Ummah, people from Hebrew Am, Injil, meaning gospel from Greek Angelos, meaning messenger, Aya, sign from Aramaic, 
Barzakh, meaning barrier from Pahlavi Persian. Burhan, meaning proof from Amhari Ethiopic, are only a few samples. 11. Muhammad's most spectacular contributions to his followers and humanity are his hate-mongering, war-mongering, racist and hellish verses that fill most of the chapters of his Qur'an. 12. Muhammad's Qur'an does not contain a single spiritual verse, since he was totally engrossed in the physical concept of the afterlife. In his versions of hell and heaven, the dead exist in a physical and not a spiritual state. That is why his martyrs are able to enjoy having sex with 72 virgins besides the unlimited food, drink, and other pleasures. 13. Muhammad's Qur'an is bereft of any precept of salvation or redemption. He promises his followers eternal, sensual, carnal, and sexual pleasures after death, the same that he prohibits them from having in real life on earth. It is no wonder, then, that his believing male followers would commit all these barbaric and heinous suicide bombings to attain these goals. 14. The Qur'an is the only alleged holy book on earth that turns usually decent human beings into depraved and unthinking robot mass murderers. 15. No follower of Muhammad or any other human being on earth, for that matter, can show a single new practical spiritual, moral, and intellectual verse in the whole of the Qur'an that is in any way, shape, or form equal to or superior to what exists in the Bible. 16. Based upon all the research that we have conducted in the last 23 years about these subjects, we come again and again to the only logical and possible conclusion, which we shall repeat as many times as we deem necessary. Every letter, every word, every verse, ayah, and every chapter, surah in the Qur'an are the product of Muhammad's imagination, his own alter ego, but cleverly projected into the unsuspecting mouth of Allah, the pagan, supreme rock god of the Quraysh tribe of Mecca, to give his Qur'an divine sanctions and foundation. If any of our listeners who may have a better conclusion, we would like to hear it.